Hey people, what's going on? It's Jamil, and I just want to express an attention for me to connect with you today. And so you can be like, you know what, I'm going to beat the program no matter what, the gang stalking program. Even if you're not in the gang stalking program, you will still get helped at whatever issue in life you're going through. But for $50 a week, I'm going to help you grind through the program and whatever else you have. You have, you have um, issues with uh, marital issues or drug issues or whatever you're going through. I'm going to listen to you and we're going to come up with some formulas for you. Now here, this is a little plastic brain. And I like to use this for what I call the genie effect. When you're being gang stalked, they like to find things that agitate you and put fear into your life, and they project them back to you. And so what I do is I use this. And I'll just sit here and hold it. Sometimes I'll talk to it, and I'll figure out what do I want to do today. You know, I like the girls. And so I'll say, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find a girl, uh, you know, the, in my area. I'm going to find a girl, you know, whatever. I'm just going <laughs> to stare at that ass and watch the program re keep reflecting it back to me. And I do it over and over again. It's called a genie effect. And I've graduated to the highest level. Uh, and, you know, I beat the program, but, you know, I still don't want to beat the program. I want to remain at the Players Club. You know, because I think to myself, when she wakes up in the morning and she puts those panties on, who is she thinking of? <laughs> when, she puts those, when she puts those pants on, is she gonna put them, Is she going to make sure she puts on an extra tight pair of pants? Just because she knows she could. Just because she... No matter what, no matter what, she's going to put on an extra tight pair of pants because she knows Jamil Rawls is looking. And so that, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. And I just want to encourage people to keep going, just keep going with it no matter what. And it, you know what? Gang stalking is so cool. I, I mean, I've gone through such tough stuff with the program. Like I said, I use an analogy. You know, well, it's not an analogy. This, this is what really happened. I used to walk down the street at 3 a.m. And sometimes there'd be no sidewalks in some of the areas I walked. And they would have a car come like it was going to hit me. And it would get real close, and I'd just keep walking. And then pretty soon, they kept doing it so much, I would even, when they, when they turned away, I would move like I was going towards them. And then I started talking to them. I started yelling at the car. Not threatening them, but just talking to them. And uh, it, got really, it got really cool. And, you know, that, that's what we're doing now. And we, we go above and beyond. We talk to the people at the stores. We let store owners know who we are. We wave at people. We go anywhere. The program... Actually, I think the program has encouraged me to go to other places because I go to new areas where there's nobody there, and I just immediately shut down shop and open up my own shop, tell everybody who I am, yada, yada, Even if they're still working for the program, it don't matter. You know, I know that that was an opportunity for me to put some extra dollars in somebody's hands, and oftentimes they're grateful. They're like, man, I got some money just to watch this guy, and this guy is teaching me how to be successful. See what I'm saying? And so that's how we're doing it no matter what. And another, another thing about the program is this is don't ever think that you're not supported in what you want to do. A lot of people talk so much about how much power the gang stalkers have, and I embrace the gang stalkers. I don't try to take any power from anybody. They, they have all the power. You know, they're powerful just like anybody else. But I'm going to be successful in my life for who I am. And, you know, as God over everything, a higher spiritual force. I'm not Jewish. I'm not Muslim. I'm not Christian. I'm not, any, you know, I'm not anything else. I just believe in a higher force in the universe, and as God over everything, and, you know, I talk to the Spirit daily, and I ask the Spirit, you know, to protect other people that are going through gang stalking. And right now we're just laying down that international foundation, you know, helping people. And it's just so intense. It's so intense. And for $50 a week, I'm going to hook you up, man. I'm going to sit there and talk to you on the phone no matter what you're going through. You know, I, I remember, like, I used to look out my window and see the cars on the corner and think, oh, man, you know, I'm going to die. I, I got into it with the most powerful people in the world, some of the secret societies. These people put the president in the White House. Some of the, some, one of the secret societies that, was, that still monitors me heavily actually put m more than one president in the White House. Another one, you know, it just phenomenal, man. These people just have an intense influence. You know, a lot of these people, greatly powerful people, man, run the motion picture industry. And it got into a situation where I got set up in Hollywood, California, life, death thing. I beat that. Then I kept running my mouth, got put in the gang stalking program. Eventually I beat that, but I didn't know I was being gang stalked. I thought this was another attempt on my life. So I was hiding inside my mother's house for a month. I had to beg my mother to take a trash out because I'm thinking, Jesus, these people are going to, you know, I'm going to go outside and these people, somebody's going to, you know, run up to me and, and blast me with a shotgun real quick or something, right? And so I'm out there and I'm worried about it. And then I said, you know what, if, you know, if, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die. I went out there and nothing happened. Now, now I beat my fear. Uh, you know, I have no fear of death. And that helped me subconsciously with a lot of different stuff. And we've just been grinding it out no matter what. We, we just keep the ball rolling. And, you know, when I talk on my phone, like, sometimes I'll talk to a lot of different girls on the phone, and I can hear their, like, I'll be talking to the phone, and the phone will be set up in a way to it echoes back. So whatever I say, 
it'll echo, and the gang stalker program does this on purpose. They think it's gonna irritate me. It actually made me spit. It actually made me spit better game to females. You know, I'm like, you know, it, it, cause I could hear myself. It got, it got pretty cool. Like it felt special effects, and like you know, I'm thinking, I'm like, man, this is so intense. You know, I'm a rich woman's freedom, and, and a poor woman's fire and motivation. That's the level we're at in the players club now. And so we just keep going no matter what. And for fifty dollars a week, that's real. For the support you're gonna get, that's nothing. You know, I talk to people all over, people who are very successful with PhDs, people who, I mean, everybody's successful, but you know what I mean, people who, who are up there in the world, you know, people who are, who are near homeless, I talk to those types of people, and I got so many people coming in with emails and phone calls, I, I need to set up a program for people so I'm bound by obligation, you know, because it gets easy to talk to one person for a while and then get, you know, get bored or whatever, and they keep calling, you know, I got to set up a program where I can be their hands-on giving people steps and information and helping them grind through it every step of the way. And so just put that, you know what I'm saying, put that $50 down and we'll get the ball rolling.